some of these women out here. I mean, some of these people, even the people here. Look at Angie. Look at Angie. Yay! Yeah. I mean, she is beautiful. I say, coming to this country was a great idea. Sit in on a hand. Hell yes, I mind. You don't just waltz in here and fling my friend. Big blinds at 40. Much obliged. Here, go have some fun. Well, I ain't never seen you around here before. What brings you to Ponderosa? Well, I'm looking for a savage son of a bitch knows how to get some business now. What kind of business? Oh, I'm sorry, probably an introduction's at hand. Name is Wallace Brancher. Branch is the name, branching's the game. I branch into every aspect of business I get my hands on. Name's Cormac. Cormac from Graven. I said, here's Bill. Howdy. Yeah. Well, all right then. Cormac McGraven, huh? I reckon that name sounds awfully familiar. Just one of those names. No, if I'm not mistaken, you're wanted in 13 different counties. It's just one of those names. Well, we'll just leave it at that then. So what kind of business you in, Brancher? Well, my business is what interests me. Right now, Cormac, you interest me. I'm running gold out of Mexico. I won't steal from a fellow American. I'm a patriot. I fought in both great wars, and I just won't do it. So I'm gonna take the gold, put the old U.S. of A. stamp on it, and call it mine. I'm listening. Well, I got the crew. I'm just in search of a leader right now that can guide him and make sure it gets done. Why don't you just have your man run it? Well, you see, sir, he's my personal bodyguard, so he stays here. Who is he? Well, as far as you're concerned, his name is Mr. Monty. He's a savage that's straight out of Mexico, born and raised. He ain't Mexican. No, he's not, but his mother was a Welsh whore, so who knows exactly where he is. But he's the fastest gun I've ever seen, so he stays by my side. So let's get started. Yes, let's. Unfortunately, there's five prerequisites that we must indulge ourselves in before you can become a part of my crew. And what might those be? Well, one, I'm going to take everything you want for myself. Two, I'm going to rape and murder your mother and your sisters. Three, I'm going to cut the throats of your brothers and let them bleed out. Four, I'm going to hang your father from his own roof and burn it down before his legs stop giving. And five, I'm going to make you watch the whole time. So what happens now? Well, unfortunately, you don't own a damn thing. Your family's dead and murdered. And as far as I can tell, your eyesight is failing. That leaves one thing. Your life. I'll be taking that. Why the five prerequisites? Because it's exactly what he offered me 15 years ago. Well done, sir. What just happened? 